Lincoln Lady Railer Basketball on WLCN 96.3 FM and streaming live at WLCNonline.com is brought to you by Growl Incorporated, Community Action Partnership of Central Illinois, Memorial Sports Care at Abraham Lincoln Memorial Hospital, State Farm Agent Adam Osborne, Lincoln Heating and Cooling, Connect Construction, Joe Ryan Country Financial, Chicago Street Rentals, Logan County Sheriff Steve Nichols, and by the Holiday Inn Express of Lincoln. We are at the uh, Taylorville Regional here as the Lincoln Lady Rail Splitters are getting ready to take on the Flaming Hearts of Effingham, which come into tonight's contest with a record of 25-4. and four. Um, We are getting ready for the National Anthem, so at this time we will actually take a commercial timeout, and we'll be back in a couple minutes with the starting lineups. So stay tuned. At Shelter Insurance, we could tell you that we insure thousands of homeowners. But what we couldn't tell you was their favorite room in the house. So, we asked. Is it your TV room with the 50-inch screen and the 50-yard line seats? Or is it the kitchen where all those terrific meals and conversations heat up? Or is it the deck where all those spectacular sunsets show up every night just like clockwork? The answer is all of the above. This is Corey Leonard, your local Shelter Insurance agent. Call me at 217-732-4663. Hi, I'm Jenny, your AAA window siding doors go-to gal, ready to make you smile when you call me today. Ask me about money-saving discounts and my lifetime manufacturer's warranty and AAA lifetime labor guarantee, too. Plus, I have energy-efficient products for every budget with finance options available. I can't wait to make you smile. Call me at 217-732-9200 and view everything we do at AAASiding.com. What if you could have the assistance of a personal consultant when it's time to redecorate your home? You can when you call on the experts at the Carpet House in Lincoln. Let us take you on a journey through endless choices in flooring, from fine carpet and ceramic tile to vinyl and hardwood. Whatever the look you're trying to achieve, the Carpet House can point you in the right direction. Visit our showroom at 1320 Woodlawn Road in Lincoln and see for yourself why the Carpet House is your personal guide to a beautiful home. Excellent. Welcome back, Rare fans. Joe Ryan alongside Lloyd Kirby, LT over on the camera. We've just had the national anthem, and we are going to have the starting lineups come flying out here in just a couple of minutes. Fleming Hearts, 25 and 4, is that correct? That is correct. 25 and 4. Um, some people like to play the little uh, transitive property game about uh, if this team beat that team and that team beat that team, and A to beat C. Um, in this case, it doesn't. You can throw that out the window because the common opponents between these teams, uh, both of them have played Eisenhower and they've played. Um, who was the other team? Oh, Southeast. Yes. That Effingham beat the other night, um, and both of these teams have perfect records against those teams. Effingham two and zero against Southeast and Eisenhower. Lincoln, of course, played them four times, being a conference opponent, and uh, they are a perfect four and zero against their common opponents. So. Uh, not much help there, but uh, we will. That's why they play the games on the court. <laughs> that's exactly right. And the uh, Lady Raiders have been introduced. They're going to go along with their starting, the same starting line they've had: uh, Morgan Lawling, Kaylin Frody, Haley Williams, Kennedy Lawling, and Grace Bossingham. The Flaming Hearts, and they've got a big crowd here tonight. They're loud. They're hip hopping around over there, jumping around. They're going to go with their starting lineups as they announce them. They will have uh, their star. Number three, Carson Fearday. Uh, she's the one we've got to take care of. She's a five foot seven inch sophomore. Uh, number 22, Allie Armstrong, five foot seven inch junior. Number 24, Miranda Fox, five foot six inch sophomore. Number 43, Bria Barr, a five six junior. And number 44, Shelby Myers, a six one junior. 
And uh, again, some size there in the middle with that 6'1 junior. Yep, absolutely. And Lincoln, uh, it's not uncommon for them to be uh, playing against taller opponents, but uh, very balanced Effingham team. Uh, Fear Day, as you said, is their go-to person. She had 16 in her victory over Southeast, but they had three other players with nine points. So uh, Lady Railers going to have to do it with defense and be patient on offense. Here we go. We're going to get ready to jump it up. Lady Raiders getting ready to square off against some flaming hearts of Effingham. And Shelby Myers controls the tip. And here come the hearts. Pressure out front from Lawling. They dip it over. They go in the corner. Maneuvering it around. Sitting around out front. That's Miranda Fox. She's going to run the offense. Fox goes in the corner to Armstrong. Up and good. She pops a three, and it's 3-0 Flaming Hearts. Yep, very quickly. Effingham on the board. Lincoln looking to counter. Roby over on the side of Lolling. Kenny Lolling. She looks around. Comes back to Williams. Over to Froby. Froby controls it out front. Now cross over. Heads there right. Sets up for three, but doesn't take it. Back out front to Morgan. To Williams. This is Kennedy. She goes back to Froby. Froby drives in the lane. Spins. Sets up for a free throw. And it's good. 3-2. Lady Raiders trail by one, and here comes that full court press. Yep, hopefully uh, gives uh, Effingham some tips here, but um, it's the end of the season. There is no tomorrow for the losers. Good job, by, good job by the press. What do we have? And we're going to get a charge right there. Great job. And I believe Haley Williams stepped in front of Miranda Fox, and we got a, uh, a quick foul, a charge foul, and that's good for Lincoln. Let's get these uh, let's get these girls in foul trouble. Yeah, absolutely. The ball, the ball uh, handler was bringing it up and just kind of used a little too much forearm trying to protect the ball and got whistled for the foul. Lincoln with a chance to take its first lead. Kennedy out front. This is Williams. Sits out the top of the key to Froby. Froby sits around, goes to Kennedy. Kennedy to the queen. The queen looks around. Oh, there we go back to Froby. And that pass, Froby picks it up. Froby drives in the lane. She gets in and loses the ball. And here come the hearts. Oh, nice defense. Tell you what, I think that was Froby that got down and knocked it out of Carson Fearday's hands because Carson got the ball and she was going to go for a layup. I believe Froby got down there, knocked it out of bounds. The hearts will control it. They inbound. They go in the middle, up, and made it look easy. They jump in the middle of Shelly Myers. And at 6-1, number 44, has an easy shot, and it's 5-2 to the Flaming Hearts. And if Lincoln's going to have to really settle in there, try and get two defenders around here, we might see Leah Schneider off the bench to try and counteract some of that height. This is Bossingham way out front to Froby. Froby in front of the Flaming Hearts bench. Comes back over to Morgan. Morgan to Williams. Williams looks around. Bossingham wants it in the paint. Here we go. Nice Froby. Nice drive, and she free those scoops. Won't go. Rebound, and now stolen. What a play. Mm. Ball bounced out of bounds. That should belong to Lincoln. Oh, they're going to give it a lot of balls popping around down there on that one. Hands everywhere, and uh, I think that uh, that should have belonged to Lincoln. It doesn't. The Flaming Hearts inbound in their own basket. They move it to the middle. Nice shot. This is Fear Day. She gets it up. Goes across over here to Fox. Down the corner to Armstrong. Back across. Go down the corner. Good drive by Bria Barr. Up, she loses the ball. The ball's loose in the middle. Oh, boy. So to say, Shelby Myers got a hold of it. She turned and went to the basket. Yeah, it was a good drive, but it was better defense by Grace Bossingham. As soon as the uh, Effingham player drove to the basket, she immediately stepped in, cut off the baseline. Player had to stop short. They didn't get a layup, but uh, they're going to get a couple free throw attempts instead. Bossingham fixes her headband. And Shelby Myers to the line. Her first one hits the rim and bounces out. 5.38 remaining in the first quarter. The Lady Raiders lead 5-2. Shelby will have another one. Shelby Myers, 6-1, only a junior. Second one up. Good looking free throw goes down, and it's 6-2, Flaming Hearts. 5.35 remaining in the first quarter. Here come the Raiders. Williams brings it up and looks around. Williams to Kennedy. Goes back to Froby. Froby way out front. Dribbles, looks around. Lady Raiders facing a man-to-man -man defense here that sometimes seems to take them a little while to get going against that. Morgan tries to drive, gets it back over to Kennedy. Kennedy drives up off the glass, won't go. Rebound taken down by Armstrong, and here come the Flaming Hearts. They want to run. This is Fox out front. She's being pressured. Ball is on the ground. Official in my way and traveling. Going to be called against Miranda Fox. Turnover to the Railers. They trail 6-2 with 5.07 remaining in the first quarter. And Coach Richmond gives out some directions, and Froby crosses half court with it. And they're going to set up the offense. Bossingham comes way out front now. See if they can't pull the big 
They're a big center out front. They do. And there's a bomb out there by Morgan Lawling. 6-5. Lady Raiders trail by one. Good defense. Boy, they, they think I just say they hit that ball twice. Yeah. Now Williams has it. She lays it up in. Good. And the Lady Raiders have their first lead. 7-6 at the 440 mark. And now the Hearts just threw it away again. Oh. No, it must have been touched by a runner. It ran out of bounds. It's going to belong to the Hearts. They inbound. They lead a trail. 7-6. 438. Remaining in the first quarter. Again, that pressure defense by the Lady Raiders. It is good. They cross half court this time. They get it down in the corner. This is Barr. I believe she traveled. No call. They back out front. Now they're going to set their offense. This is Miranda Fox. 5'6 sophomore out front. She's going to set things up. Brings over to Barr. Back to Fox. To Barr. Nope. And now they got some pushing down the moat. Travel. Travel. She yep. turned official right in the way, but she did travel. Yep, she, uh, Clock hasn't stopped. I think somebody should yell about that. But they don't. Maybe we've got a running clock. <laughs> uh, they didn't figure it out there from that, but now it's not running. 7-6. Lady Raiders leading the clock is stopped. <laughs> and they're moving it around out front. This is Froby. <laughs> Froby hit the three. And the time is frozen. <laughs> is that Joe Ryan keeping the time over there? No one has screamed start the clock yet, so we'll wait till a fan does. Still at 428. And there's a foul. <laughs> I believe that's called on now. 420. Now they're just letting it run during the time. Yeah, he's off and on. Yeah, I think he's got the wrong buttons. We're going to have to have yeah. an official talk about that. You got clock as he's rep. Miranda Fox. Oh, now it's gone. She has a ball. Good pressure. Stripe standing right my way. I can't see. Now they cross half court. They dump. They go all the way in the corner. And a nice job. A good pass. And uh, they get the ball to Skyler Schaefer. She lays it up. And it is 10-8 Raiders. This is Froby. Sets up for a three. Boom. Nothing but net. Excellent shot. 13-8 Lady Raiders. 340 remaining in the first quarter. Good pressure defense. Oh, she stepped out of bounds. Excellent. I thought they were going to call a foul on Williams. But they're going to call Fox for stepping out of bounds. It'll be Lady Raider ball on their side of the court. Williams to inbound. She goes to Froby. Froby out front. They're going to set something up. She looks around to Kennedy. Kennedy looks inside, says no. It's to Williams. Tapped out front. Good defense out there by that was Schaefer. They go in the corner. Now back outside. Froby's open for a three. Feeling it. And it won't go down. Rebound fair day. Fair day. Lady Raiders still want to press as they cross half court. This is Fox. Now she's going to be trapped in the corner, trapped in the corner. Raiders everywhere. I think she doubled, but they didn't call it. This is Fierde. It's back in the corner to Fox. Fox drives back to Fierde. Fierde down the opposite quarter over here. The ball is lost, thrown away. Here come the Raiders. They lead 13-8, 255 remaining. Froby drives in the paint. She goes, scoop, won't go. Rebound comes out of there by Carson Fierde. Now they bring it down to Webster. Webster in the game. Sydney Webster. Out front is Schaefer. She looks around. Gets it over to Fox. Miranda Fox out front. They're going to try to set something up. And Effingham just not quite sure how to attack this zone. Looks like they want to try and get it into the high post to some of their taller players and maybe reverse it. But so far the Lady Railers are shutting them down in the middle. Lady Railers, good defense. They get outside. <clears throat> There's a three-pointer on the way by Sydney Webster. The 5'9 senior buries it. And it's 13-11 Railers. 2-12 remaining in the first quarter. Froby looks over, gets some directions from Coach Richmond. They set things up. Haley Williams steps out in front of us. Now she's going to go back down in the paint. Froby to Morgan Lally. I almost said Kenny. Morgan, cross court to Kenny. She's open for a three off the front of the iron. Bounces around. That's a double drill, isn't it? Uh, no call. Mm. They did get Haley Williams for a reach there. On uh, Miranda Fox, I thought Miranda double dribbled. Yeah, it looked like it. I, there was a play in front of the Lady Railer bench where they had a similar thing. Lady Railers had the guard trap, but uh, the referee made the signal that the ball was tipped. Uh, it caused a second dribble. I'm not sure if maybe the same thing happened there or not. But uh, Lady Railers with a two-point lead, just under two minutes remaining here in the first quarter. Haley Hicks comes into the ball game along with Lauren Block. Hart's bringing it up. This is Fear Day. She gets it back to Fox. Fox wants to drive, goes in the corner over there to Schaefer. Schaefer looking around. She's going to bring it back out front. 
And she goes back to Fox. They go in the corner. This is number 12, Natalie Carl, and she hits a three. So they've had two subs come in, and both of them hit big threes. Yeah, Lady Railers usually uh, live by the three-point game. Uh, kind of looks like Effingham might be looking to do the same thing here. A minute 15 remaining in the first quarter. Lady Railers trail by one, 14-13. Bossingham, nice move in the middle, up and good. And they regain the lead, 15-14. Lady Railers, 105 remaining as they pressure. That ball coming up the court. They break the press easily. Now they go all the way down. Off the glass, no good. Sydney Webster misses the layup. Here comes Morgan. Crosses half court, goes around her. Gets in the corner, Froby. Froby ducks, drives in the lane. She goes for a scoop. And they're going to get the call. I think yep. they're debating. One had a foul. One is saying it's just um, out, of ball, out of bounds off of Effingham. And oh, they're going to call it. Oh, holy cow. Uh, Listen to the Hearts crowd. They are loud. I don't know if I can agree with that call, but the charge goes to Kaylin Froby. The 5'7 junior picks up her first foul. And she, 51 seconds remaining in the first quarter. She is prone to do that. She will try and drive in for a layup and kind of initiate contact when maybe she doesn't have the best look at the basket or the best path to the basket. And uh, that time the referee said she... Tried to draw the contact a little bit too much, so Effingham with a chance to uh, they move it all the way down. Wow. Sydney Webster misses a three. Big rebound. Up, oh, no good. The ball bounces around again, and we're going to have to get some rebounds. Like, oh! Travel. Oh, I thought they were going to call Roby for her second foul. <laughs> and uh, luckily, they called a travel instead, so it'll be Raider ball out of bounds. 29.8 seconds remaining in the first quarter, and the Lady Raiders lead 15-14. As they go to set something up, they're moving it around. Block moving around down in the paint. They brought in Schneider. This is Hicks. He's looking for Schneider. Doesn't get it to block. Back out front, Morgan to Froby. Froby looks around. Block wants it in the paint. Froby looks at her. Doesn't dump in yet. We're under 10 seconds. This is Hicks. Nice bounce pass inside for Schneider. Schneider couldn't get to it. It goes out of bounds. And with 6.8 seconds left, the Flaming Hearts will have a chance to move the ball down and maybe get a bucket. Yeah, it looked like uh, it was either, I believe it was blocked down underneath calling for the ball on the, on the block, but uh, there was a second defender behind her that she didn't see, so that's why they couldn't feed it inside her. She would have immediately been double teamed. And they inbound. They go back in. This is Fox. Fox quickly. She crosses half court. Just the ball over the down in the corner. Nice block by Snyder. As Ali Armstrong is going to try to put up the three, Schneider got in front of it and rejected it. That's the end of the first quarter, and the Lady Raiders lead 15 14. Welcome back, Lady Raider fans. Joe Ryan and Lloyd Kirby here. The Raiders have just inbounded. Froby gets the ball over to Morgan. We're going to block. She stands way out front. Just starting the second quarter, the Lady Raiders lead 15 14. Froby looks around, a lot of action in the paint underneath as the girls move around. Nice job. Morgan gets, kicks it back out to his sister Kennedy, and Kennedy's going to set it up the top of the key. And drove on the side to Morgan. Morgan looks around, looks to go inside, doesn't. Froby, Froby drives in the paint, dumps the ball off the block, blocks back out front to Kennedy. They back over to Morgan. Morgan drives in, looks around. She's in trouble, comes back out front to Kennedy. She's got a three. Good. 18-14, Lady Rollers take the lead. 7-15. Remaining in the second quarter, we just start the second quarter. And Lawling hits a big three. Flaming Hearts cross half court. They jump down in the corner. Ooh, off the iron and no good by Allie Armstrong. And the rebound, I couldn't tell, but they have it back out front. They're all moving around. This is Natalie Carl. It's off the iron. We get over there. Oh, we're giving too many rebounds. That ball bounced on the floor and around, and the Hearts pick it up. This time they go over in the corner. Sitting out front. Now they go in the corner. This is Fox. Fox looking around, she bounces inside the oh. She bounces inside to Shelby Myers. And the 6-1 junior turns and goes to the hoop, and, and that's all you can do. You're mm. going to have to foul her. Absolutely. Yeah, I couldn't give up the easy points in there. That's, uh. that's Miss Block with the foul. Lauren Block picks up her first foul, a 5-9 senior. 6-38 remaining in the second quarter. Lady Raiders lead 18-14. Myers' first free throw, up and good. She's got a nice free throw touch. And the Flaming Hearts only trail by three now, 18-15. Future conference opponent for the Lincoln Lady Railers. Second free throw up, good, she hits them both. Good looking free throws, 18-16.
And the Flaming Hearts are going to drop back in the uh, zone defense, I think. Mm -hmm. One three, no, one. Still man to man. No, still man, man to man. To man. Yep. And here comes here come the Raiders. This is Morgan. They move the ball around out front. Kennedy with it. Comes to Froby. Froby wants to go to Schneider. Doesn't. It's back. Now they go to Schneider. Schneider turns. Drives to the hoop. Back out front. Morgan. Morgan with a little jumper. Up and good. Nice. About a 10-foot jumper. She hits it for two. And it's 2015 Raiders. Here comes the pressure defense. The Hearts having a little bit of trouble with it. Now they run baseline. Don't pick up the foul. They get it up. Nice behind the back move. Fear Day brings it up. They go out front. Wow. wow. There's our first bomb of the day. Number 24, Miranda Fox. It's a bomb from out front. And it is 20 to 19. The Raiders by one. 540 remaining in the second quarter. Raiders out front. This is Froby. Sets up, running around, looking for a pick to Kennedy. Kennedy looks around. She okay. sets back up. Looks like Lady Rail is trying to than. run some of that pick and roll that they ran against uh, Rochester. They dump inside Schneider. She turns, goes for the hoop. Foul! That's good. That foul's going to be on number 44, Shelby Myers. And I, I tell you what, like I say, you know, Leah Schneider gets better every day, turning, facing the basket, and going to the hoop. She's yep. only a freshman. 6-1. She is only a freshman, but she is also one of our leading free throw shooters. She shoots uh, just under, or just over 71% from the line. So she is a good person to have at the line. She's going to step up and uh, just now gets the ball, slams it to the floor, squats, and the shot is up. Good. Good follow through. 21-19, Lady Railers. I say a big hi out there to Bobby Jones, a member of the Bucks. He's out there listening tonight, cheering these Lady Railers on. Bobby a heck of a wiffle ball player. 21-19. Lady Raiders lead. Second one up. Off the iron. Bounces around. Won't go down. And I don't know. Oh, it hit the wire up top. All right. 21-19. Oh. Lady Raiders. They're going to inbound. Flaming Hearts are going to inbound. And here we go. They move the ball around. This is the middle of Fox. Fox gets down there. She finds Armstrong. Armstrong up. Bounces around. Won't go. Mm, come on. Over the back. Mm, oh, God. Whistled a foul uh, underneath on that, uh, they're Lauren gonna Block. They're going to call that on Lauren Block. And I tell you what, I really believe really Shelly Myers is over the back. Yeah, it certainly looked like they. one of them did not have better position than the other for that rebound. So uh, Block's going to pick up number two, and they're going to bring in Emery Weaver's going to come in. And uh, Miss Lauren's going to sit down and take a little break. Coach Richmond gives some directions. They inbound, and they get this to Myers. Myers goes right back. They go in the corner. This is Fox. No good. Rebound. Here comes Froby. They want to run. Froby's looking around. Now she sets it up. She goes over on the side. This is Kennedy. Kennedy oh, loses out front. She just tried to stop the ball. Got away from Fear Day takes it. She tries to twist and go inside, and she does, and she lays it up, and we tied at 21. 445 remaining in the second quarter. All tied up. 21 all. The Raiders. And the Hearts. Yeah, the Flamer, good. they go Schneider. She's going to turn. No, back outside Morgan. She's got a three. Oh, won't go. The rebound batted for down there. And that's quite a board right there by Carson Fielder. And they're going to call a quick foul there. That's going to be on Froby, and that's going to be her second. And I believe, to me, looked a little cheap. Uh, but I'm not wearing stripes tonight, and I am for the Railers. Uh, that's going to hurt. Froby's going to have to be now a little... You have to be careful that uh, that's also the seventh foul on the Lady Railers. So Effingham for the last 431 of the first half will be shooting the one in bonus. We're tied at 21. And this is Carson Fierde, 5'7 sophomore. She's a pretty good basketball player. She made a steal out front. A nice move inside earlier. Laid it up. And now she's going to the free throw line. First one is good. And the second one is good. They do shoot good free throws. 23-21, the Flaming Hearts have regained the lead. About 4.25 remaining in the second quarter. That was one of their Achilles heels in their win over Southeast. I was reading an account uh, from in one of the local papers. Schneider turns inside, can't get it to go. Rebound to Miranda Fox. Are we calling a foul again? Yep, that would be uh, Haley Williams that time. Of, or, yeah, Kennedy. Nope, Kennedy Lawlin, rather. They're going to call that's that on Kennedy Lawlin. And I'm going to tell you what, if the officials keep calling it like this, we're going to have to come out of the press. And, and Coach Richmond over there, I can tell, is aggravated. Coach Keeler's aggravated. He's a big dude. I wouldn't want to aggravate Coach Keeler. 
23-21. And I don't know about that foul either, but this is going to put Fear Day at the line again. She's a pretty good free throw shooter. She hits the first one. She's got it all down. She dribbles it, squares up, squats, gets her legs into it. And the Flaming Hearts lead 24-21 for 16 remaining. Second, when I jinxed her, no good. The ball's battle for it, out of it. Here comes Kennedy Lawley. She crosses half court to Morgan. Morgan's going to drive in the paint. She's going to get the foul. The block is going to be called. And they're going to give her, no, I think he said two shots, didn't he? He yep, said that. She was in the act of shooting. He finally got a call. Was that on Fear Day? I believe it, it was. Yep, that's on Carson Fear Day. It'll be her first. We'd like to have her in some foul trouble. And Morgan Lawley is going to step to the free throw line. Her first one is up and good. That makes her uncle, State Farm agent, Adam Osborne, very happy. You can find agent Osborne at 309-688-7070. Another thank you out there to the Community Action Partnership of Central Illinois. They're changing lives every day. 24-22, the Lady Raiders trail. Second free throw by Lawling is good. Nothing but net. 24-23. Flaming Hearts inbound as we approach the four-minute mark of the second quarter. There's a trap. Let's get the 10 seconds call. Let's get the 10 second call. Yep, yep, get over it. Get over it. Oh, they cross it. Wow, they go down. They nice job of Are you kidding me? Uh, These Leah, guys are whistle happy. Uh, Leah Schneider is Effingham broke the press. Shelby Myers got it for Effingham underneath. Leah Schneider tried to jump out and at least get in her path and not give her a direct shot to the basket. Oh, uh, they I I have to say that's the fouls that we are getting are unbelievable. Wow. So Shelly Myers at the free throw line, and she's a good free throw shooter. Good. I, I murphed her. She missed the first one. That's what you're supposed to do. It's a little different uh, brand of basketball than the Central State 8. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know what? I think you might be right there. And, and that may have been why they shot so many free throws against Southeast. Same thing. Uh, second free throw off, no good. And the rebound down to Kennedy. The Lady Raiders trail 24-23, but we are in foul trouble with 3.50 remaining in second quarter. There we go. Turn and get up. There you go. Hit the foul. That's a great job of dumping the ball down inside right now uh, to Leah Schneider. Leah turned and goes against Shelby Myers, their 6-1 paint person, mm -hmm. and gets the foul. She's going to shoot two free, two free throws. Yep, that's 6-1 against 6-1, but... Uh it's definitely uh, a good thing for Lincoln to get uh, Myers in foul trouble. Also, a good thing for Schneider to be at the line, one of our leading free throw shooters. And you murphed her. And that's you do right. it to the other team. Every time, Boyd. Every time. All right. Schneider steps up and misses the first one. 24 23, 346 remaining in the second quarter. Schneider steps up for her second free throw. She bounces it. Nice squat. This one's going to go. It goes. Nice job. The squat's the key. We're knotted up at 24. 345 remaining. The Hearts, so far, they've had a pretty easy time with the press. And now we've got to be less aggressive. With the fouls we have going on, they go cross court. This is Fear Day. She's going to drive, pulls up for a jumper. Nice shot. Nice shot by Fear Day. 26 24. Flaming Hearts lead. Yep, she's starting to heat up. That's her seventh point here in the uh, second quarter. Now, the Lady Raiders have to keep that confidence level up, but the fouls are just. It's taken a lot of our aggressiveness away. Yeah, exactly. And, and, uh, and I don't like it. Here we go. This is Froby out front to Williams. On the side to Morgan. Morgan's going to shoot the three. Mm, we've got to have those threes go down. It doesn't. Rebounds down in the corner to Fear Day. Now they go. This is Fox. Fox is going to drive and get it on up to Armstrong. Armstrong stops. And they're going to set things up. Back to Fox. Fox back to Armstrong. She thought about the three. Doesn't take it. Back to her. Now that she's finally going to take it, three times they gave it to her. She rolls it around, no good, and a big rebound over there by Lowling. Kennedy Lowling, Froby all the way down, the Frito scoop, and it's good. They're tied at 26. Nice job by Lowling getting the ball out, and again, Froby can take just about any one of the hoop. You know, this is Fox right in front of us, crosses half court, goes down in the corner. She's not going to scare off Armstrong. She puts another one up. This time it's good. She's feeling it down there in that corner, and it's 29-26. The Flaming Hearts by three, 222 remaining in the second quarter. These girls are running. This is Froby out front. She spreads it out now over to Kennedy. Kennedy drives into the paint. Gets it over to Morgan. Morgan wants to go inside, doesn't. Now they do. Nice job. Get it right back up. Oh! Nice pass inside. Yeah. Snyder couldn't get to go down. The ball is loose. Rebound Williams. 
They're going to call it a jump ball, and it's going to belong to the Hearts. I was kind of hoping for a foul, though. I'll tell you what, a nice speed inside. And uh, Schneider turned to go to the hoop, but couldn't get it to go down, and then a jump ball. And credit to uh, Haley Williams on the backside there, being underneath, boxing out for position on the rebound. Just uh, got tied up by an Effingham player, so jump ball going the other way. There's Fearday. She's taking it right to us and getting all the fouls, I'm telling you. Yeah, I don't know. He's going to get two shots. I don't know who they're going to call this. Either one. Morgan or it's going to be Leah Schneider. 31 Leah Schneider is going to be called for the foul. That's her second foul. And, uh, you know, I, I, I think that's part of Carson Fearday's game. I mean, she is not fearful of anyone. She's taking it right down the paint. They know they have Lincoln in foul trouble, and they're going to pick on that. Uh, absolutely, they're going to keep driving the basket. First three throw by Carson is good. 30-26 with 153 remaining. And that is uh, 10 fouls on Lincoln, so double bonus. All the fouls will be two free throws now for Effingham. Yeah, we just need to run minutes. this clock out for the first for the first half and get out of here. Lincoln, she misses second. This is Froby. As I say that, she bombs a three. No good, and here they come again. The Flaming Hearts with the rebound, and it's Fear Day. She's a good ball player. They bring it on up to Schaefer. Schaefer out front. Goes back to Fear Day. She finds Fox. Fox looks around, goes over in the corner. And that's Armstrong. Oh, she had another one, but it in and out. Now let's hang on the ball. Let's take our time a little bit here. And this is Morgan. Morgan brings it down, and I, she just threw it away, and we're not taking our time, are we? <laughs> no, we were uh, definitely looking to push the issue that time. Looks like Morgan kind of got tripped over uh, a little bit, tripped by uh, one of the Effingham players, kind of stumbled a little bit, lost her bearings a little bit, and uh, the ball got thrown out of bounds here. Effingham... Uh, Maybe, we, maybe we have some parents screaming because we got the athletic director up over there. Yeah, I'm not sure what was going on there. <laughs> but he's Paul gonna, Held's up down there. He's going to straighten some things out in the stands. They go in the corner. I'll tell you what, Armstrong's not afraid to shoot that. Get the ball and hang on to it. There you go, Froby. She goes deep. Here comes Kennedy Lawling. She's loose for a layup and gets it. At the one-minute mark, the Lady Raiders trail 30-28. The Hearts inbound. Now they go bounce pass in the middle. This is Armstrong. They get the ball over to Schaefer. Schaefer brings it up. They go, oh, still Again by the Raiders. Let's run. Kennedy has it. Kennedy gets it ahead of Froby. Froby's going in. She throws up the scoop. She's fouled. The basket is no good, but she's going to go to the line to shoot too. And that time the Frito scoop paid off. Just like it does at every Super Bowl party. They don't even sponsor us, Lloyd, but Frito scoops are good. Are they? I thought maybe they were uh, sponsoring you as much as you didn't say. I'll tell you what, they do sponsor me. Froby's first one up and good. Take a look at the size of me. They sponsor me every weekend. 46.9 seconds remaining in the second quarter. Froby hits the first one. Lady Raiders trail 30-29. Second one up. Beautiful. We're tied at 30. Let's get some of these people out. Let's, hey, no fouls. No fouls. Yep, Lady Raiders going to have to be cautious here this last uh, 47 Got seconds. They're going to bring in Conchick. Yeah, run in there, Conchick. Get in there. Yes, Froby, you go sit down. That's a good idea, Coach Richard. I was thinking the same thing. Yep, definitely don't want... Uh, Probably picking up foul number three here in the last minute before the first, end of the first half. Go the Hearts, they inbound. They cross court over here right in front of us. Now they go back across the court. They break the press easy. They've done a good job against the press. But it's a lot of it because we're in foul trouble. We yeah. can't be aggressive. Yeah, like you said, it takes away our aggressiveness. So uh, this Fox out front goes over to Fear Day. Fox looking around. They go over here to Armstrong. He's been liking to shoot. They go to Fear Day in the corner. 20 seconds remaining in the second quarter. We're knotted up at 30, and it's been an exit ball game. Hey, no fouls. No fouls out front, Kirby. He bounces it around. Now Armstrong all the way out front. After Fox. Fox at the deep in the corner. Stripes in that way. I can't see. Now they go in the corner again. They moved it around and got Armstrong for shot over there, and a big board on the other side by Natalie Carl. Back up. No good ball bounces. Out of bounds. And with 2.3 seconds left, yeah, I was going to say, they're going to go right over here and bring Shelby Myers in for the inbound play under the basket. And Coach Richard's going to counter up and bring Emery Reaver right back in. She's going to come in, and she's going to try to defend that inbound play, yeah. and let's go. It would be nice if Lincoln could pick up, a, hands up. Coach pick up a charge here. Everybody's hands up. Move the ball. They do go inside. They tip it right back to her. Right back. Nice job. We steal it. Control it. Good defense by the lady. There is right there. Excellent defense to make sure we don't give them an easy basket before halftime. That's going to end the second quarter. We're going to go to halftime in, in what's been an excellent ball game with the score tied 